Dirty. Dirty. Big dots. Whee! And I was ready to shoot, Jack. I was ready to shoot, Jack. That might be all good. Right, okay. <laughs> Trays up. Splash down. I'm ready to shoot, Jack. Ah! Trays up. Splash down. I'm ready to shoot, Jack. Trays up. Splash down. And I got on green machines, so once I shoot one green, if I'm even close with the stick, the rest of them go green. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. This is some dark times for NBA 2K21 players, man. Not even going to lie to you. There's some strong, strong allegations that are going out out there, and uh, they're not really unfounded allegations. It's like, it's like these people got some validity. They can kind of back it up, more or less. Some people are being accused of cheating and using modded controllers and uh, miscellaneous different devices to uh, help them do better in 2K. Now, this ain't nothing that's new. We've known about stuff like this going on for years, but 2K tried to do different things to make it harder for people to do it. And we're going to talk about all of that in this video. So if you don't do anything else, let's like the video. Let's get the video up to the like goal of 30 likes. Uh, YouTube links the likes. To the notifications so if enough people don't like the video initially the notifications won't go out to people that's been subscribed to me for 10 years i've been on youtube for over 10 years and you know we just trying to make that push to 100k so if you want to help me out do that go ahead like the video but other than that man let's get right into the video video if you make it to c25 that's og status i was told you could be anything just don't be average down bad flat pockets that shit made me upset start hustling non-stop don't plan on breaking that head so last night I was in my guy Zuli Zuli stream. I spent a lot of time in there. Zuli, y'all yeah, know who Zuli is, man. Zuli is a comp player, and he plays a lot of comp stage, a lot of stage all the time. Stage head, you know, one of those guys that he ain't always the greatest stat. He never claimed to be the greatest dribbler or anything like that. He's just one of those people that say, bro, I get buckets. I put the ball in the hole. That's what I do. And uh, as I was watching, I kept hearing this same name over and over, Crip Walking, Crip Walking, Crip Walking. And then I kept hearing uh, this, the other guy, Drew. So I'm like, bro, what are they talking about? And then so they started saying there's some allegations that uh, your guy, Crip Walking, was using a modded controller and, uh, you know, he was newly goaded. Now, I don't know how true any of this stuff is, man, but there was some, com some pretty compelling evidence. Uh, provided but before we get into that evidence man I want to I want to take the time to let y'all know my guy was admin in Louisiana said man he's doing a giveaway today and uh, you know I guess he's giving out VC and stuff like that and he says this Saturday you got to be following him on Twitter and twitch and uh, do, and to win he'll be live uh, to win he gonna be live at 6 o'clock Eastern which is 5 p.m. Central make sure y'all do that I'm gonna leave a link to his to the contest that he's doing in the description um, you know, because that's my guy right there, man. Very genuine guy, and he's doing all of that. But at any rate, I started, so, you know, I do what anybody would normally do. If you keep hearing the same names over and over, I went to Twitter and just typed it in. And this is what I was able to find. Boom, all this stuff, man. You know, it's, it's just like, I, I, I typed it in. Like, you want you want Crip walking on Twitch, blah, blah, blah. That dude, Crip walking. here we go. And he said, that dude, Crip Rockin', trying to join TNB. He the best comp stage player. All right, so we, we keep going down, keep going down. And it says, you called me uh, something on the other day, blah, blah, blah. You keep going down. It says, congrats to Keith. He's talking about this. This is all good stuff right there. And here it is. Boom, right here. Somebody says, godly boards, mop out, and Crip Walking all had modded controllers. It's just crazy. And then uh, one guy comes through and he just says, and he says, uh, you know, Crip Walking ain't cheating. He just built different. Now we're gonna get, we're gonna talk about all this in a second. But I keep going down. I keep saying Crip Walking modern controller, modern controller, uh, copping that Crip Walking controller. <laughs> controller. We be we we uh we locked the game. I, I just keep looking at all this stuff, man. Let me see. Not the only. He's not the only person that's greening BS 
wait till I get mine. He said, Crip Walking can't be the only person reading BS. Wait till I get mine. What's the Crip Walking animation name? All this stuff, man. And then I see the one thing that said, Crip Walking got exposed for cheating, but that's not gonna change anything. People gonna pay, gonna pay to play uh, with him now. WTF. You're just making his ego float. And that's one of the things that I was talking about with the 2K community. This is the only this is the only community out there where you can cheat or people suspect you of cheating. And, and instead of you getting admonished and banished from the community, you get embraced. They be like, yo, this dude is goaded and, and let's do it. Now I'm like I said, I'm not saying that he's cheating because you know I don't even I don't I don't have any proof and I don't care. But from what I'm understanding is he's using the shot stick and he's green and everything and he's not missing and he's hitting a lot of contested shots and stuff like that if you watch my stream it's as plain as day that i'm not cheating because like like look at this right here when i'm pulling up it's it's not green and you're always seeing me move that needle to the left or to the right apparently for him it's just locked in and obviously you know uh the opponents can't see the stuff like this but we just kept on going man people say you know he's innocent approved and guilty uh one dude says well well, Rip quit walking. Uh, he finna get banned soon. We all love we all love him. Uh, he was dangerous while while he was uh, here. The one month go. <laughs> anyway, so that's enough Crip walking slander. Cause like I said, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's cheating any of that. I had no clue uh, what it could possibly be. And then, like we said, uh, they they kept saying, okay, but Drew should have kept it to himself. Drew should have said, you know, this, this, and that. Drew shouldn't have blah 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 and I'm like well who's Drew and so I found this video on uh, on Twitter and uh, we're gonna go through it a little bit together and we're just gonna listen to parts of it man we're not gonna listen to the whole video but you know we're gonna listen to parts of it I'll leave the link to this video down in the description and here let's see what we can do do man I gotta get it I gotta get it to play through the uh, through the regular through my regular joints and I think that it thinks that my I think that it believes that my main uh my main player play play device I think it thinks that my main playing device is my main playback device is something else yeah it thinks that it's this hold on one second and here we go boom All right, so he comes on. He's doing a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm wait he said he's gonna wait till people get in. This way he does. Look, this way he does. He runs green. Mm. Look, I'm not be pressing square. Look, look, look. Mm. I'm not pressing square. This way he does. L1 mm. green. Mm. That's what he does. That's all you have to do. I will be winning runs. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Now I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm, I said I'm gonna show you. If he's if if you like know. I'm show y'all niggas what it is. I'm just gonna Let keep letting it ride. The nigga eager bought this. You can't buy it no more because it's sold out everywhere. Mm. This is where you get this shit from. But it's like it's sold out everywhere. But he had it before 2K19 came out. I mean, 21 came out. So he was the first one, nigga. He was the first nigga with it. Mm. You feel me? Look, L1. Oh, we gonna keep skipping. Look, he, look. You could tell. You could tell. One. Y'all see the fucking squad? Right, so let's put mm. up on Zuli. Then so, he pulled um, up on us. You cannot I'll show you how this shit look. It's only a few. Well, he's showing us the right device now, that like he's using. People my party's going to eventually be the whole fucking state's going to use that shit. Then the shit's going to be toxic and that shit. Look, look, look. This look. This is exactly how it's going to go. This how it, this how mm. it takes tomorrow. This how eager I is every day. Look, this how he be. Look, 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 look. This is what it's going to do. Green. Hmm. That's what it's gonna do. Hmm. Let's switch over to the this, big this screen. Nigga, come on, now you really think Garley Boys Jr. That nigga sound like a fucking old hand. It's, it's like <laughs> movement, but all you gotta do is know how to dribble. If you know how to dribble, mm. you're greening. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, man, that's what it is. If y'all, I'm not. I'm gonna leave. Hmm. So that's some that's some pretty compelling evidence right there. I'm like I said, I'm gonna leave the link to the entire video in the description. But more or less, what he's saying is that 
the device that he was alluding to, he showed it on GameStop there. I don't know if you all were able to see it, but it was the Cronus Zen. I had to do a little research to find out what it was. That's the Cronus Zen. And uh, what I guess is what it does, it allows you to write scripts and macros and stuff like that for your control and all of that. I can't imagine that it would be too difficult to do, but I know people have been doing this for the longest. So it's like one of those things where you just hate for it to rear its head. Because people do it in all the communities, man. People use those joints. They use different scripts. They use those uh, in Call of Duty. They've been using them in Call of Duty forever to control recoil. Like if you see somebody using something and you're like, this person got ungodly recoil control. That's probably what they're using. They're probably using that if they're on the uh, computer. If they're on the computer, they're probably using a regular script, a recoil script. If they're on a PlayStation or a Xbox and they got ungodly control, they're probably using one of those with a script to control whatever they want. So if they're always using the same gun, they're always doing the same stuff. Conversely, in 2K, if the person is always doing this, I've seen this in past 2Ks where I've seen people playing and you'd be like, yo, why does this person never take a wide open shot? Why do they always have to do the same movement before they take a shot, before they do anything? I've seen it in the 2K community too. And I'd be like, yo, it's something special about this guy, man. Like he's never missing. Like, and 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 as, as always, the reason that you can really tell, like when people hitting open shots or whatever, you know, it, it, you probably can't tell. And people were probably using it last year with the meter off, but you couldn't tell because people hit so many greens. Now, when somebody is shooting and everything that they're shooting is green, it just raises a little red flag. Cause like I said, I've been using this shot stick since its inception. If somebody miraculously became a shot stick god that didn't use the shot stick before patch one, and I mean, or patch two, and then they just miraculously became a shot stick god, in all likelihood, they're probably using it because after patch one, it took the randomness, I mean, the patch two, it took the randomness away. So you knew where the thing was gonna come up and you could you could actually, you could probably dial it in every time. And I talked to Brute about this as soon as it happened. I said, I don't know if I like this because this opens the door for people being able to cheat because you know where that window is gonna be, you know where that square is gonna be. Now, it's a simple solution what 2K could do. They could just make that square be a couple of millimeters to the left, a couple of millimeters to the right, imperceptible to the human eye, but if you had something that's automated, that's, that's told to hit that thing every time, it wouldn't be able to do it. And so that's all they would need to really do. But um, like like I are saying, the problem wasn't the fact that he's probably hitting open shots. The problem ain't the fact that he's hitting, um, you know, shots that he's supposed to hit. He's hitting contested shots and looking like the best shooter of all time in there. And that's what people always do. And they, they can't cheat and just cheat here and there and be like, okay, I'm just gonna use it on the key shot or I'm just gonna use it here and there. We gotta be the best of all time. It's just like I said with the 2K community, you gotta be the GOAT. You can't you can't just be like, well, I'll just use it here on this wide open shot, this clutch shot at the end of the game when I'm wide open in the corner just to make sure that I'm not gonna miss. They can't do that. I gotta use it every time because people gotta think I'm the best, that I can carry everybody and I'm that, and I'm that GOATed. And people that wasn't even nothing last year, they gonna come and be that guy this year. And, and, and a lot of people been using this stuff forever, man. Your favorite YouTuber probably been using it. That's why Mike Wong did what he did with the shots being different all these other times. Like, you have you realized that what in 2K19, uh, 20, and 20, uh, and 21, every shot move, like every shot is different depending on, you You shoot with the ball out your left hand, it's a different timing. You shoot with the ball out your right hand, it's a, it's a different timing. You shoot with the ball off the dribble, it's a different timing. If you catch and shoot and you're holding the button before the ball hits your hands, it's a different timing. If you hit it too late after it hits your hands, it's a different timing. All of that is different timing, right? So a computer would not be able to predict for all of those situations, but we're able to green because we key in on a certain, you know, a certain movement or whatever that the, that the person does. Anyway, man, like I said, people got to be the best we got to do this and in the 2k community you got people defending their stuff like if this is what he's doing it would not take long for you watching his stream to say okay that's something special about this because every shot he's hitting is green and he's using the stick and then he probably think he got i don't know if he got the feedback on or off i did go back and watch his stream from from the early 2ks and he wasn't using the shot meter and uh, you know, like now that they got it where you can turn the shot meter off and straight down, it's always dead center. People probably cheating like that, which I thought that was a bad idea in the first place. And then uh, also that you, you can you can actually program it to hit 
that same spot because that same spot is going to be in the same place. But like I said, it's an easy fix. They just need to move it millimeters to the left, to the right, imperceptible to the human eye. That's something that we can always compensate for, but a machine wouldn't be able to compensate for. A uh, real easy fix, man. That's all Mike needs to do. They need to just get me on the team, man, because I can stop stuff like this from happening. I could have told him that putting straight down as the thing was, was not a good idea because people were going to cheat uh, and never be find a way to cheat. And the people had these devices forever. Most people use the device so that they can have their Xbox controller and move it over to PlayStation. And most people don't cheat at all. They just want to be able to use whatever controller they want to on the system that they want to play on. People have had them forever, but not everybody's been programming them to cheat or what have you. And uh, you know, cause like I was going to get one back in the day cause I have this controller. I paid $300 for this controller. I want to use this controller every time I plug up, but guess what? Uh, I looked up some stuff on the internet and it said I can't use it. I, you literally cannot use it with this controller. So I can't use this controller on my Xbox. So I'm stuck using my normal Xbox controller on my Xbox, which is fine. I just wanted to use this one because this is a $300 controller. So you know it is what it is. So I, under, I definitely understand why people had them uh, in the past, but like now, it's just going overboard. Anyway, man, I already talked too long about this stuff. Like I said, it ain't the fact that people cheat. I don't care if you cheat. I don't care if you cheat and beat me. What I care about is when you cheat, you beat me, and then you claim. It's the claim that inevitably comes afterwards that I'm the greatest, I'm the best, I'm the baddest man on the planet. And then everybody know you you know you cheat, and everybody know you cheat. And then you know it is, you know, and it's just blatant, like like whatever because the only way you're gonna really miss if you're using that thing is if you get a badly contested shot and they got clips of my boy hitting badly contested shots it is what it is it ain't looking good for him i ain't saying that he cheating he might just be the goat with the stick but i know that most guards have just given up on the stick because my boy brute can tell you that thing is impossible to predict where it's gonna come up if you're a guard and you're doing it legitimately like brute probably the best guard that i've seen use this thing and he's probably the only guard that's still using it he can't even guess if it's gonna come up left right and he can't make it come up on the right every time and all this stuff so if he can't do it i really don't have a whole lot of faith in other people to be able to do it but it is what it is man y'all make your own conclusion down in the comment section uh maybe he is just the greatest of all time innocent to proven guilty but with this 2k community who knows man we always gonna like people just gonna cheat and and then do and i know i done ran into some people that's using it too because i'm just like bro this dude's not gonna hit he's not they're not only hitting every open shot but they're greening every single open shot contested or not and nobody's hands are that steady it's just not possible like I said, y'all seen me use this thing since its inception, and I'm not even close to that good. I ain't saying I'm the best game player in the world, but y'all know what it is. Anyway, man, I got to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. God, speak! I'm going to leave the link to the video down in the description. Let me know what y'all think, man, and I'm out. Peace. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Heck, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I could give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good